This program is brought to you by Seldex Therapeutics, designing the next generation of antibody therapy. Hope, opportunity, novelty, uh, innovation. You know, my favorite word for that is, is still uh, speculative. Oh, that's easy. Revolutionary. Patient benefit. Increased survival. Curative. A revived hope. Well, an immunotherapy product would be one that actually affects the immune response in a patient that ultimately results in uh, the control or prevention or regression of a tumor. I would in define an immunotherapy product as any product that has uh, its effect on the immune system in ways that are beneficial to uh, 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 the patient uh, fighting off their disease. When you hear vaccines, most people think protective. These are the vaccines you get in childhood to protect you from measles and mumps. And there are vaccines that have been developed and approved actually for cervical cancer to prevent uh, patients and people from developing cervical cancer. What I think most of the focus of much, much research going on in, around the world is to develop therapeutic vaccines. These are vaccines that initially are designed to treat cancer, not to prevent it. Most of them are being tested, obviously, in a therapeutic setting, and which is why the term vaccine is actually, strictly speaking, inappropriate. There are some really recent successes that would tell us that therapeutic vaccines may indeed be useful, but oftentimes not by themselves. I, I, I personally dislike the term cancer vaccine because in immunology, right, a vaccine is, you, is something that you generally give before you're challenged with the infection or antigen. And so um, I think it's a little bit misleading because when we give cancer vaccines, the patient already has cancer, right? So it's a little bit different from, um, call it infectious disease vaccinology. Um, in that it's not necessarily prophylactic because we haven't figured out a way to identify which patients may get cancer and therefore vaccinate them against it. I believe that if an efficient immunotherapy could be to make that a patient may live with a small number of tumor cells in his body, but control them for 20, 30, 40 years. And you don't need to destroy the last cancer cell, and he will be perfectly all right. So I really see the interaction between cancer and the immune system as a reduction not of equilibrium, but of disequilibrium, dynamic disequilibrium. At the end, if nothing is done, the cancer wins, but efficient immunotherapy is something that will bring the equilibrium in favor of the immune reaction. Well, at the Cancer Research Institute, which is an organization that has been dedicated to the field of cancer immunology since 1953, our view is that cancer can be viewed as a chronic disease. And in fact, I think a very possible and, and actually a good goal would be actually to control cancer, turn it into a chronic disease. And I think cancer vaccines have the ability to do that. There's a, a wonderful precedent here that we all should understand and study very carefully, and that is the treatment of AIDS. AIDS was a sentence to death in the early 80s when it was first identified and described. It has now become a tolerable, and I, and I, wouldn't, I want to use the word carefully, but a tolerable uh, chronic condition with effective treatments. They're not benign treatments, but they keep people alive and productive. And I think that's the same objective we should, we should aim for in the case of cancer, that we may not in all instances completely eradicate the cancer, but if we can contain it, and if we can offer significant life extension with acceptable side effect profile, and obviously reduce morbidity, that would be a wonderful outcome. Uh, I mean, controlling is uh, uh, something that we've been talking about for too long. I mean, the idea is to eradicate cancer. I'm not one of those people who talks about converting cancer into a chronic illness. I really don't think that means much of anything. 
And I don't think it means much of anything to patients. But if you can get T cell populations, cytotoxic T cell populations activated sufficiently to knock out the tumor and change the environment, the microenvironment of the tumor, then you have a, a reasonably good chance of actually moving toward cure. So I think that's what's going to happen. A vaccine that um, prevents recurrence uh, will be very cost effective. Um, vaccines are probably, you know, the most cost effective interventions we have in medicine in general. I'm not sure the cancer vaccines, or I prefer to call them immunotherapies, uh, are any more expensive to develop than any other oncology product. We probably spend more as a society on managing the side effects of chemotherapy than the actual cost of administering it. When you're thinking about the cost of care, that the individual drug may be relatively small for a cytotoxic agent, but all the supportive therapies are quite expensive. So when you add up the cost of care, and when you think about a chemotherapy agent, it could be quite dramatic versus the active immunotherapy agent, which is usually has fewer side effects and uses fewer supportive care. So you have to think about comparative efficacy and also comparative cost of, of care, not just the drug. In my mind, the uh, best cancer vaccine trial right now is, a, is GlaxoSmithKline's vaccine trial of MAGE A3 in lung cancer. The current clinical trials, which people are really uh, placing their bets on, are those involving the agent uh, known as ipilimumab, uh, which is being developed by Bristol Myers Squibb. The very Nordic Prostvac is really intriguing to me. Uh, as far as potential to succeed. There's no doubt that the approval of Provenge is getting people to revisit the cancer immunotherapy space, which for many, many years was considered not a place for likely product approvals. There is a number of different approaches being developed by companies like Geron that are looking at stem cells and a stem cell vaccine. Uh, Uncle Therion is working on a um, phase three product in lung cancer. We're going to see um, data uh, from Celdex Therapeutics, uh, which is working on a number of different strategies to activate the immune system with their platform. The, the definition of curing cancer is extending life with good quality as many years as possible so that, unfortunately, we all die of something someday. But what we don't want to die from is cancer because it's a miserable and painful and, and just a horrendous way to lose one's life or the life of somebody that you care about. But if a number of treatments can put, be put together, whether they're immunotherapies, targeted therapies, that keeps a person alive long enough, again, with a, a good sound quality of life, then we will have essentially cured the disease. And I believe for prostate cancer, uh, I can see the day. I can definitely see the day where advanced prostate cancer won't have to be a cause for death and suffering. Immunotherapy drugs activate and direct the immune defense cells of a patient's own immune system to fight disease conditions and expand treatment options for serious illnesses such as cancer. Celdex is developing immunotherapies using monoclonal antibodies designed to work alone or in combination with added molecules to more fully exploit a patient's immune system, precisely and safely, improving a treatment's effectiveness. Celdex is developing a pipeline of immunotherapy drugs and vaccines from human monoclonal antibodies that are designed to activate a patient's immune system against specific forms of cancer and other diseases. In addition to using antibodies in their natural form, they may be modified by attaching a payload of cytotoxins. Monoclonal antibodies can also be modified to make better vaccines. Celdex's antigen-presenting cell, or APC targeting technology, combines a specific cancer-associated antigen with a monoclonal antibody to direct the immune power of APCs with targeted antibodies. Celdex's unique strategic approach works with the body, 
Innovation in the combination of antibodies, vaccines, and immune modulators called precision targeted immunotherapy aims to harness the full power of the immune system to improve outcomes for patients with life-threatening illness.